Welcome to Halloween Redux on the K-Files. It's October, so that means we're doing all the spookiest, most horrific X-Files episodes all month long. First up, Sanguinarium and the slicing and the... And the cutting. Sucking. Yeah. Peeling. Welcome back to the Lush Basement Office, the <laughs> Frankenstein's <laughs> swamp version of the Lush Basement Office. Okay. Fog in here to choke a donkey. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, welcome to what October. To <laughs> yeah, there you are. Oh my goodness. Hey, there you are. <laughs> uh, we're doing a Halloween Redux here at HollywoodRedux.com, and the K-Files is going to do our part, for sure, to participate in the horror fest. It's Halloween, man. Yeah, we love fall. We love Halloween. As you can tell. We love Halloween here. Yep. Uh, so welcome to the show. We're talking about Sanguinarium today. We're investigating all month long the spookiest, grossest, most horrific X-Files episodes. There are a choice, a uh, few of them to select, so I'm very excited. Sanguinarium, I, I, I think, was a bold choice to get going. It was a right very bold gate. choice. Or early days. You know, we could have eased in with something a little more gentle, like uh, Mulder and Scully meet the Were Monster. But no, sorry. We're going old school horror movie. We're starting strong here. Yes. So uh, this uh, was, a, of course, a monster of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, basically a... <laughs> uh, the horror of the uh, cosmetic surgery industry is weighed to l- bear here on this X Files episode. It was written by two sisters, Valerie and Vivian Mayhew, who were junior mm-hmm. staff writers on the show, and uh, a lot of other people participated in its writing because they were so junior. There were a lot of problems with the story, and so Chris Carter did his part, and uh, he uh, kind of centered things more around the themes of greed and vanity. And Howard Gordon provided some of the scarier stuff, like he is wont to do. Like uh, Vanitas, Vanitatum, that thing that was scrawled on the door. That was from him. Very bloody. Very yeah. bloody. <laughs> yeah, and it, well, it was directed by Kim Manners, who is the, one of the scariest directors to have ever worked, period. And not just TV, but just across the map, I, I would say. And I love the way he uh, directed this episode. I love the way it's lit. I think it's a, lit especially dark um, for uh, X-Files, ep- even by X-Files episode standards. X-Files I'd standards, s- yeah, it's very yeah, dark for standards. It's a dark, dark episode. So, yeah, it has a lot of stuff going for it. But I do, uh, I do remember that there was an outcry at the time in response to the episode when it aired in 1996 from a lot of uh, Wiccan groups that uh, were not happy with the way it was I mean, portrayed. someone's always going to get... Not, I don't want to say butter, but someone always will get bothered by it. So, like, chill out, you guys. Jesus. Like, yeah. I understand, but it is just television. Chill. Well, the writers, <laughs> the writers, the two sisters who wrote it responded and were baffled because they tried really hard to uh, not specifically name any sect or belief system to kind of make it more about... Someone was bound to think it was for them. I mean, come on. To more, yeah, yeah. it was like more about the setting of cosmetic surgery. I don't know. All these years later, to my mind, I... I think it's more the cosmetic surgery setting Definitely. that is meant to be the you know the the horror story itself and um i think just the trappings of wicca are used to sort of spell out what the you know the story's about so you know there you go they didn't hold back on the plastic surgery though at all oh should we do it should we get to the uh we, I, which one is the most uh, disgusting absolutely uh so it's it's halloween uh and uh we're gonna be talking about all the most disgusting moments of the x-files and we're pretty uh, pumped. i'm calling them the oh, squeeze yeah. awards and hopefully at this time some kind of graphic will, will be playing somewhere on the screen in front of us uh, uh i i'm hoping it's something to do with Mulder, like flicking goo off his fingers from squeeze is there any way I can get off my fingers quickly without betraying my cool exterior? In this episode, there are a slew of them. Okay. And, and the uh, the king of this is like the skin shower, Billy Miles' skin shower in the eighth season. That's like the king of this moment. But in this episode, there are a number that vie for the title. I guess the question is, which one was the least disgusting? The least? Boo. Well. Uh, maybe the leeches I was okay with. Oof. Katie, maybe not. All right, leeches, sure. Le- know, lead in with the leeches. <laughs> I guess. Uh, the most disgusting and my favorite one. Yeah, go right to it. Was the face peel. Ugh. Was the face peel. Oh, 
Yeah. So gross. Uh, we should say, so the face peel, very disgusting. But also, that actor who played that is the same actor who played Ben Horn in Twin Peaks. And it's a villain that is on a par with that character. We should just do a like an episode where we just name all the Twin Peaks and yeah, like totally. guest stars on this show because yeah. they, there's a lot of crossover. Did. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, okay. So anyway, so so other disgusting things that happened. Um, face peel for sure was pretty gross for me. You know, I think that teaser sequence is the most unsettling just because uh, it's so gross to watch that fat go through the tube. It, if ever I would have considered cosmetic surgery, this episode of The X-Files puts me right off of it. <laughs> All I have to, I just have to remind myself like 20 years from now if I'm ever like, oh, I don't know. Just remind me, watch just Sanguinarium. Watch the and I'll be like, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to each their own, man. If that will help you get out of it, that's great. Thanks, that's Chris. Great. Record this moment. <laughs> We all, we all heard it. Everyone's here for it. All right. So what else? Disgusting stuff. I mean, let's see. What else? Uh, how about the moment where the... I, I forgot her actress's name, but all the oper, uh, operating instruments, like the... Oh, yeah. Dr. Shannon. Oh, my God. That was a horror show. Poor Dude. Dr. Shannon. Yeah. Sorry. I needed a moment for that. I just relived it for a second. It was great. Well, you know, it was so <laughs> unsettling because they never even showed it. In another another show that was made today, they, they would have it. To. They would have, like, some kind of CGI thing moving under a, a stomach. They would really show, like, all, like, these, you know, instruments, like, protruding. And they didn't show it at all in the they show. They didn't have to. And for me, it was even more unsettling because you were just sort of there with that actor and she played it so well and the blood on the mouth for some reason was just, like, enough to just yeah. be like, oh, that stuff is inside of it her. It was more to your imagination imagination from that and it was pretty disgusting yeah it is the sound effects too i think definitely sold it for me i mean the sound behind it of the oh never mind yeah but that was definitely a disgusting part that should be up there for sure squeeze points awarded yeah so sure. <laughs> squeeze, we should totally have like a little trophy if that was the case that's next that's the next one guys next next steps you know yeah sanguinarium <laughs> it's a spooky <laughs> episode um i don't know what did you think what what where does it fall for you is it a uh, good Monster of the Week, does it serve as, like, a fun... I think it was a great start at Halloween, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean... Scary story. Like you mentioned before, talk about a bold choice for uh, this show, or at least for this podcast, and for the X-Files in general. Dude, they... I love this show so much, and it does not stop surprising me how, like, advanced it was for its time, and how they didn't really hold back. They weren't afraid to at all, which is great. This episode is... a. F- uh, in my heart before the biggest the biggest reason for the reason that scully gets to sort of eviscerate the cosmetic surgery industry like very subtly and not without you know without saying very much like she confronts dr shannon Mm -hmm. and uh kind of says like well you know you guys are uh you know you're you're profiting off of people's preying on people's weaknesses preying on people's you know vanity essentially and uh and she's kind of like well it fills a need and it's like, yes, but this there's a consequence. <laughs> and here it is. Yeah, your face can like be peeled off, apparently, if you go to plastic surgery. Uh, you might think you're getting a chemical peel and somebody fires a laser through your face. Dude, the laser! Oh my god, I'm so glad you brought that up. Talk about being so precise on that cut. Did not stop. That was... I like the fact that the we saw the other of the side. Cosmetics. Of the, <laughs> the camera panned over and saw through the hole. Yeah, good job, Kim Manners. You really captured that. Oof. Thanks for not holding back. No. I, you know, shows that are coming out today, like The Exorcist, um, actually, you know, I, I was watching this episode thinking The Exorcist kind of owes this show a debt because that show is going so far and showing so much graphic stuff on TV. And I feel like The X-Files was doing it in 1996. And so it's like, you know, paved, paved the way. In between some there was Hannibal. <laughs> Another really carving faces off on that show. There's a lot of those, man. Or there's not enough. We'll see. Sanguinarium. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Sanguinarium. We're going to close the file on that one. It's Halloween. We're doing Halloween Redux here at HollywoodRedux.com. We're very excited about all the spooky stuff we have going on. We've got giveaways. We have uh, exciting things happening on our other podcasts, The Writer's Room and Infinite Grenade Launcher, and lots of shorts and other surprises as the month continues. Please, please check out our gameplay tomorrow from the guys from IGL. Also, check out the rest of our stuff from the writer's room. And, uh, you guys, it's Halloween. Just please check out our site with the hashtag Halloween Redux. And you know what? Just share your stuff. 
We'll talk oh, yeah. back. Share, share stuff with Halloween Redux and we will uh, give you some attention. We will. We're very attentive we'll show on you social some medias. <laughs> um, I'm your host, Katie. You can find me at KMoles. And I'm your co-host, Krizali, and you can find me at Krizali on all social medias. And we're coming at you from HollywoodRedux.com. Yeah, subscribe below, like and share, and uh, make Check sure you video watch right the video Katie. that's coming up over here. And please uh, join us next week for another episode of The Gay Files. <sighs> the truth is already here.